Join the Transformers Society Club today. Maximus back with another Kids Club Transformers review. This time we're taking a look at the Transformers Rescue Bots, Roar to the Rescue, Boulder the Rescue Dinobot. So yes, this continues on with the Rescue Bots rescanning themselves into Dinobot modes, and I love the concept. Now we've got one really big lights and sound Optimus Primal that I've already reviewed, which is very cool. And then we've got this kind of deluxe sized uh, two step or one step change bumblebee that turns into a velociraptor. And they've also made an Optimus Primal in that size as well. Now the other rescue bots that we see on the show on a regular basis, uh, they made figures, but they're really small little guys like this. Um, which I do like them. I love the designs and I love the concept. I just wish they were bigger. I wish they were the same size, at least as the Bumblebee figure, uh, because they're a great concept. So we, here we have Boulder, who in the show uh, initially was a bulldozer, uh, a green bulldozer. And he's kind of, I don't know, the uh, brawn slash uh, bulkhead type character of the show. Um, and the fact that he's green and he's kind of, you know, the muscle. Uh, that seems to be a theme with Transformers. So here it is in the package. Um, it is a little figure. Uh, we've got the Transformers Rescue uh, Bots logo up here. We have a picture of him and his robot. It says Dino to Robot. There he is just kind of uh, snapped on there. It is from Play School. And then at the bottom it says his name and he is the rescue Dinobot. Back of the package, here is a wide shot. Basically, um, we've got Triceratops to robot in two steps. The other figures that come in the wave, um, we got the roar to the rescue uh, logo there and he has a gimmick. So his gimmick is you push down here and his head kind of bobs forward, which is pretty cool. I like that, it's pretty nice. Uh, so let's get this guy out of the package and see what we think of the Triceratops mode. All right, so here we have Boulder in his Triceratops mode, and I do like him. Um, He's very cute. He looks like a little baby Triceratops. Um, I love the concept of them becoming Dinobots and having these reminiscent parts of their vehicle modes from the prior scanning. Uh, just really, really cool. I really dig that. His Triceratops horns here are uh, kind of silver painted and they look like drill bits. I really do dig that. He's got a very metallic looking face. Uh, his frill looks like it could be part of the bulldozer uh, teeth. Um, on the earth mover itself. It's got the caution stripe around it. That is really cool. I do dig that. He's got his little dino hide on the back, which I'm not really sure what that's about because I've not seen any episodes with them on there. Um, we kind of have this this kind of gear look for the tail, which is very cool. We got some treads going on on the back of the leg from where the bulldozer was. I really do like that. And then on the back of the legs, we got these nice pistons. Uh, very cool, very machine-like. I really do appreciate that. And again, here is the little gimmick. So you just push down on the tail and his head goes forward. So yeah, looks like he's dancing. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool gimmick. Again, I just wish this was in a larger scale. I think it'd be really, really cool, and I'd love to see actual deluxe detailed versions of these kind of uh, Dinobots. Now, transformation is pretty easy, but it is very stiff. Uh, you're basically just going to take the legs and you're going to pull them down, and this thing sticks. It feels like it's going to break, but it's not, and there he is in his robot mode. So let's zoom out just a little. Zoop. 
and there he is. I mean, he's got lots of dinosaur hanging off the back, but he does look cool. I mean, he looks like Boulder from the show. Got the little Rescue Autobots logo there. Um, not much articulation, but the detail is nice. Again, he does remind me a lot of Bulkhead. Uh, it's just his character type, I guess. He's these little hands inside uh, the dinosaur arms there, and then he's got his little feet at the bottom. So, yeah. Not too terribly bad. Again, to transform him back, you're just going to flip the legs around, click, and there he is. So let's get some size comparisons of this figure to others. Here is Boulder the Rescue Triceratops with the Walmart exclusive Age of Extinction slot. Here is Boulder with the Rescue uh, Dinobot Bumblebee in his raptor mode. And this is the size I think that all these guys should be at least. I think that would have been really, really cool. And here he is with the 2015 Robots in Disguise three-step changer Grimlock. All right, so is this something that you should get into the collection? You know, if you've got a kid that loves the Dinobots, absolutely, this thing is cheap. It's only $3.97 at the time of this recording at Walmart, and I think it's $3.99 at Toys R Us. So they're very inexpensive. They're fun. They're something kids are really going to like. If you are an adult collector and you are a Dinobot completist, then yeah, I would say pick this up. Again, it's cheap. It's fun. It's different. Um, I love the concept. I just wish they were bigger. Um, kids are going to love them. They're a great prize for parents, and it's a Dinobot. You can't go wrong. So there he is, Boulder, the rescue Dinobot in Triceratops mode uh, from Transformers Rescue Bots. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. Definitely check out the Transformer Society Club on Facebook and here on YouTube. I'll put a link right here. And as always, look for more videos in the future.